Now that dynamic lighting is set up on our page in Tokens, we're going to set up a custom map with walls and barriers. Go to the toolbar on the top left, over over the second icon in the list, and select the dynamic lighting layer. Note, this feature is only available for Plus and Pro subscribers. If you're not seeing this icon, you will need to subscribe or you might not be logged in as a game master in this game. Check the game's landing page for those preferences or rejoin as a game master. Once we've selected the dynamic lighting layer, it's time to get to work building walls and barriers. Hover over the third icon in the toolbar and you'll see the draw shape and polygon line tool. Both these tools can be used on the dynamic lighting layer to create walls and barriers. For simple four corner shapes, the draw shape tool is perfect. But our map is a little more complex, so let's start with the polygon tool and build some custom walls. You'll notice two squares and a drop down pop up next to the toolbar. Click the first square and choose a color that can stand out from your map's color. This color will be your polygon stroke. Think of it like the outside perimeter of a shape or the lines on a drawing. The second box is your shape's fill, and it does just that. It fills in the shape with color. There might be instances where you want to color coordinate your map with different fill colors, but for our example of just outlining a map, we're gonna leave this one transparent, which looks like a gray and white checkerboard. Next, we have the dropdown, which has the line weight of your stroke. Basically, how thick or thin the lines are gonna be. I usually leave mine on regular, but play around with what works best for your game's flow and aesthetic. Let's start drawing. The polygon tool starts as soon as you left click. Now, if you're working on a map that is set up and aligned to the grid, you can hold shift and the polygon tool will make a straight line. No need to drag. You're gonna be putting points on corners of the map where there's turns. You can keep going like this until you add a point on your first point or until you just right click. Whatever you're outlining does not need to be a complete shape. Remember, we're just building walls and barriers. It doesn't necessarily have to be a room. Just right click when you're done drawing that part. If you're making custom shapes or connecting shapes together, just remember to overlap some lines to avoid light leaks. You can be as exact or as quick as you want. Some people like to make lines directly on the wall artwork, while others prefer to make lines inside the wall's artwork so players can actually see the object. Remember, no one but the game master will see this page. Your players will only see the final lighting product. Now that we have our walls and barriers set up, we can add some small light sources. You can use any image you have in your library to represent a light source. Remember, it's on the dynamic lighting layer, so no one is gonna see it. For our purposes, we're just gonna use this little yellow gradient, but you can use any image that you have. Hold shift and double click your artwork. Click the dynamic lighting tab and turn on token emits light. Now this works the same as when we were setting up emitting light sources in a previous video, but with one big difference. We're placing these tokens directly on the dynamic lighting layer. So our players will see the light, but not the artwork we placed on the layer. The best way to remember this is that you can interact with objects and tokens on the objects and tokens layer, but you can only see light and shadow on the dynamic lighting layer. So if you're planning on putting torches in hallways that you want your group to interact with, make sure to put those on the objects and tokens layer. Everything else works the same though. Bright light, low light, directional light, your players just can't see the image that you're using. Once we set up one light source, we can just copy and paste it in the areas we want. This makes setup faster and gets us into our game quicker.